mentioned, both Cook and Page have links to white supremacist groups. Tonight, we go behind the hate with a man who was once a member of that culture. Annie Scholes has a story new at 10. Annie. Carol, it's impossible for most people to understand how somebody could be so filled with hate. But tonight, I spoke with a man who knows what that hate feels like, and now he's dedicated his life to turning it around. Every waking moment of your day, you spend in fear. Arno Michaels admits he was once no different than Wade Page, filled with hate and caught up in a white supremacist culture that captivated him with violence. I left people for dead. Michael says the mentality behind it and what happened in Oak Creek Sunday is simple. When you see people who aren't white, they're a threat to you. Michaels no longer believes that and now runs an organization called Life After Hate. How does someone get out? The, it, it's very important to understand that the reason why I was able to get out was because people who I claim to hate gave me acts of kindness. Michael says that made it impossible for him to hold on to the rage that made him hurt people. He wishes Paige would have taken the same path to peace, but is hopeful others one day will. If we don't forgive, we are perpetuating the hurt of this incident. And it's the Sikh community who has set the, the most amazing example of, of this strength and courage. And as Rob Coble mentioned just a couple of minutes ago, Misty Cook also has ties to white supremacy groups, though she did tell the LA Times today she wants the focus here to be on the victims, not on her. And while Michael says that might seem insincere right now, he's hoping that this could be the turning point in her life that he had in his. On your side, live in Oak Creek, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4.